Okay. So this is going to be our flow for this morning. Welcome to CITL's Creating Engaging and Effective Presentation and Facilitating Understanding of Content and Creating PowerPoint with Lecture Narration, Lecture Subtitles, and Video of the Lecture. This is re uh, this is supposed to be our flow, but we're changing a bit. I hope it's, a, it's fine. I'm going to start with the reminders and requests, and then we'll move directly to creating PowerPoint with lecture narration, um, lecture subtitles, and video of the lecture with our resource speaker, CITL head, Engineer Eileen Sierras. Um, so, before, may I ask po na sana you have with you your two-slide um, PowerPoint for sample during the workshop. This is going to be interactive workshop, no? Um, unlike in our previous webinars where our participants are just, uh, you know, not uh, listening to the lecture, this one we have to go with our um, our our speaker and our resource speaker, no? So um, may we may we uh, ask you to really be interactive, all right? So this is going to be our our flow. Please log in. I salamat for logging in before the start of the webinar. We will lock the session after a few minutes. I know we already have said this, but you know, it's uh, locking in the locking in the webinar will actually help us uh, make ensure that only USTP are in here and um wala dili ta maka maka experience uh, just like what others have experienced with Zoom which became um, actually a, an issue you know when when some people come in and 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 then there was porn shown and um kalit lagka screen share ang unsa unsa so we're we're making sure um, for security purposes we also request that you use your real name as name tag in Zoom. So please um, right click and then please rename for identification and documentation purposes. Use the chat features only when there's a need to express concerns and if related to the topic being discussed. Use private chat if the issue you want to express concerns, mga good morning, mga unsa, mga kamusta na ka, you know, guapa, you may do that privately, no? But if it is um, for everyone to see, then um, click everyone chat. So later during the workshop, click everyone, no, to, for everyone to see. So later on, Ma'am Eileen will will ask you what's your PowerPoint version. What's your PowerPoint uh, version? So therefore, please give us the PowerPoint version. So this is going to be interactive. If Ma'am Eileen will also will also say. Uh, at this point, we're going to have seven minutes or ten minutes um, workshop. We're not done gonna say anything. Um, you do the workshop and apply what to click and all that. Okay. So, so documentation and screen cap will be taken and sessions be recorded. So we request the participants later to turn on the video during the documentation. Kasi po, although our our staff are very efficient, no, at the end of the of the session, yung mga, yung mga e-certificates nyo, yung mga ano na si send um, then really just hours after the session, sometimes we miss it for so we, we miss a name and all that. So we review um, the name of the participants by looking at our recorded video and also looking at the pictures. So please uh, um, be do understand why we're doing this to manage the noise please allow us to mute everyone's mic and to also request you to understand that i'm actually below the president's office and they're doing some repairs so major na ako noise kamay so i hope um, that doesn't really bother you well anyway dili man gid ako pinaka resource speaker no um so um should you get disconnected disconnected due to unstable internet connection um, again, we're 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 locking the session, but just log back in so we could pick you up from the waiting room. But um, we will only pick up those who have joined us from the start. So our CITL staff will look at the names of the participants here, and if na ay nakagawas tungod sa internet uh, uh, unstable internet connection, then we'll pick up only those who have joined us from the start. But yun pong talagang um, um insert na late uh, we're going to ask them to maybe join the next batches no we still have the same 
um, webinars for when we are preparing for the faculty who, is going, who are going to teach the first semester. So this one are for those who have um, load, no? For load for the mid-year term and those who might want to just uh, um, learn in advance. Um, should you, uh, since this webinar, in Kosovo, some of you may be requested to share your screens later. We hope to really have volunteers, okay? Later pa during the workshop and then pag morapit sa klase na, please show us your, your outputs so na po okay lang, no? There, okay? Sige po. Um, so, um, ganito po mangyayari sana, no? When Ma'am Eileen will, will, will do something in Zoom, press ESC so that you can do a double screen on your laptop or on your desktop. So when you're working, while Ma'am Eileen will say, click here, click here, you're also clicking here at the same time. So you can press escape of your Zoom and then you can um, work on the what to click at the same time. So you can actually follow Ma'am Eileen as you click. Just double, um, uh, just escape and then minimize and then open your your PowerPoint. And if later on you're asked to do a narration, um, and then your 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 desktop will say you can't do or you can't use your mic because you're using it in Zoom. You can actually just exit from Zoom and then we'll give you seven minutes to, to do that and then you can just uh, enter. No, um, We will pick you up from the waiting room. Uh, okay? So, yun po. We'll begin now the, the workshop. Okay? So, let me... Um, so we are now going to have the session on how to create your PowerPoint with lecture narration, with subtitles, and with uh, the video of the um, the of the lecturer or you, no. And why are we why are we presenting this? Um, remember that in the webinar two we discuss about the creating the course modules and creating the course guides and we emphasize that as as experts in the field of this of our discipline we perfectly know what is the best resource and should you find that powerpoint is the best resource that you can send to your to your students this may this skill might help you for so so we're not saying the requirement good and powerpoint no but of course, you know that PowerPoint, when we are sending, aside from the printed paper, when we're sending PowerPoint, it is actually familiar with our students as well as with the faculty. And it's so nice to see a PowerPoint with something that you can hear. No, there's a teacher that's explaining, okay, rather than just plain PowerPoint. And I know, so that's what, that's the skill we're about to learn today. So I'm going to introduce to you our resource speaker, Engineer Eileen Sierras, earned her bachelor's degree in computer engineering at Mindanao Polytechnic State College, now USDP. She graduated her master's degree in computer engineering at the NAO, the Davao University. Since 2012, she has been serving as a chairperson of the Department of Computer Engineering under the College of Information Technology and Computing of the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines. She was trained at Z Singapore Polytechnic, Polytechnic as City IO trainer for teaching and learning framework. Currently, she is one of CITL's program heads. Ladies and gentlemen, may I please welcome our resource speaker for this session, Engineer Eileen Amora Sierra. So, now we're virtual. I don't know. Pak -pak. I know. <laughs> Salamat sa pak -pak deha. Mas kikuan, dili madunggan. Okay. So. I'm going to ask uh, Ma'am Eileen to share the screen. And then I'm going to also allow Ma'am Eileen to, uh, I'm going to unmute also Ma'am Eileen. Okay? Hello, good morning. Thank you, Paul. Can I share my slides now, Ma'am? Yes, yes, Ma'am. Okay, thank you, Paul. Hello, good morning once again to our participants. Thank you for joining this uh, webinar workshop about uh, PowerPoint. Okay, uh, 
why PowerPoint, no? Because uh, this uh, PowerPoint is uh, PowerPoint application is a good tool for presentations, especially in the classroom. PowerPoint have some impressive animations functions built in. Uh, they are not powerful tool as Adobe, kanang mga Filmora for recording, for voice recording and uh, video recording. But it's easy to learn and I think everyone has a PowerPoint installed in their PC, right? Okay. So our expected output, okay, we hope that uh, participants are uh, eager to volunteer themselves for their uh, work later on because we have three activities for each topic. So uh, three activities for uh, Okay, so but before that, we need to check our PowerPoint version. Why we need to check our PowerPoint version? It's because so that we will know uh, the compatibility and the functionality of the PowerPoint applications installed in your uh, laptop. Another thing is uh, uh, we need to check the version of our PowerPoint because some of the lower version is not capable of this uh, video recording. Pero, please stay with us kay kaning mga activity is not only video recording. There are more activities nga low, even the lower version of your PowerPoint is still capable of working. Okay, to check our uh, version, okay, these are the instructions. Uh, we have here for the 2003. If you if you think nga muragdugay na mangyud kay ni ako ang PowerPoint, so maybe that is at 2003, so please uh, follow the instructions. All the PowerPoint versions, no, maski lower and katung uh, higher ng versions, please open your PowerPoint applications. And then for 2003 versions, click Help. And then under the Help, look for the About Microsoft Office PowerPoint. Then makita dayo na ninyo din na nga, PowerPoint uh, 2003. For 2007, there is a logo of the Microsoft in the uh, uh, upper right. Just click the options and then resources. And then see at the right bottom na ay makita ninyo gyapon kung onsang version. For 2010, click file and then help. Then see under the, kanang na yung logo sa imuhang uh, office. Mao na siya. Yang below ana, nakabutang din ana. What is the version of your PowerPoint? If you have this 2013 to 365 nga version of your PowerPoint, please click File. Then after sa File, look for the uh, tool nga account. Then in the left, uh, uh, right corner, makita ninyong see under the product information wherein you will find the version of your uh, PowerPoint. Okay, for the demo, okay. So let's say sa kaning ako ang gigamit karon nga PowerPoint, wa ko kabalo kung unsa ni nga PowerPoint no. If I'm going to click here help, dili ni siya mao ang katong 2003. Kay makita pangita man na ko tong about, wala may about din ani. So maybe in the uh, look, higher for uh, higher version to ang kaning ako ang PowerPoint. So I click file here, file tab. So under my click my file tab Makita na ko ang look for the account nga tool in the lower portion. Once I click this one, okay, naakay mo appear di ani nga product information office. So under for the, of this one, I product activi activated. So under the product activated, that is now the version of my PowerPoint, which is, sa ko ang gigamit ka ron is uh, 2019. Okay, nakafollow ba ang tanan? Okay. So please check kung sa inyo yung version. As I said, if you have lower version nga 2003, ay kabala ka ana. You can still do uh, audio recording and, and other activities. Okay. Ma'am Eileen, yes, we'll ma wait for them to chat their version of the PowerPoint. So we're okay. receiving Sir Christopher Balaba, 2013. So, Ma'am Eileen, you can see me in the chat now and then so that you can yes, um, see later. Kung... Okay? They're beginning to tell us, Ma'am Eileen, so meaning they're following. Wow. Okay. Thank you. 
Oy, mga higher ni nga mga PowerPoint. So, this uh, 2013, 2016, can do a video recording. Uh, especially this Microsoft 365, this is updated uh, version of PowerPoint. 2013 po, okay. Okay. Okay lang, ma'am. Okay lang, ma'am. Nga, dili pa ang kanang ato ang 2019, ma'am. As is lang ta sa 2016 for now, sa so, ma'am. Later on, you can download the 2019. 2011, okay. Okay. So, I think walay ka itong mga 2003 and 2007. Kasagara, ma'am, na ay 2016, 2013. Okay po. Thank you. Okay. Maybe we will proceed. Uh, can we proceed now, ma'am? Not yet, ma'am. Kaya murag, ano pa? Murag... Checking pa sila. 10 pa kabuok yata ang... 14 people responded. Sige. Okay. I will uh, ask everyone to please tell Ma'am Eileen so that later makita niya kung kung saan sa niya ganda niyo. Okay, ni Sir um, Clarine. Pa, yes, ni, ni Sir Clarine, 2019. So later on, Sir, can I ask you to share your uh, video recording later on for our activity? <laughs> uh, sir Clarine, later. Um, okay, 2010. So wala kayo tayo problema if you have this uh, 2010 nga version. Hmm. Can, can it record a video, Ma'am Eileen, even 2010? Uh, audio lang siya, Ma'am. Uh, sa narration at subtitles naman. Oh, yes, Ma'am. Uh, so, 2013 and above yung? 2016, uh, audio recording lang yapon. Uh, it starts sa 2019, Ma'am. Pwede sila uh -huh. mag uh, video recording. Can they download that free? Yes, yes po. Uh, that's good. Sino pong download? They're downloading something? Ma-download rin na siya, Ma'am Eileen? Uh, na ay mga uban, ma'am. Pero basin, ano lang siya, ma'am? Uh, uh, Free? Trial? Oh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am Bing is 2013. Sir Crusulogo, 2013. Bismar, 2010. Para shout out. Giniatang may himo, ano? Sige. Okay lang eh. Kay Aron, uh, we're interactive. Go. Okay. How about the others? Maragwa pa nakatunga ang nag-check sa ilang PowerPoint. Can you do a demo again, Ma'am Eileen? Asa pangitaon, what to click? We're going to click uh, okay. help. Uh, for the lower version, katong uh, 2003, mga 2007, you will going to click help. And then, under that one, uh, uh, about Microsoft Office PowerPoint, if you had the 2003, so makita na dahil na ito kung sa imuhang uh, PowerPoint version. For 2007, go to na ka ng logo sa right corner of your uh, of your kaning screen ni mo. Makita ni mo din ani nga portion. Uh, I-click lang na siya ang katong logo sa MS Office. And then, click the options. Then, look for the resources nga tool. And then, at the right bottom na, andiyan, nakita mo ang version. For the 2010, uh, click file. Then, na I help. Then, see under the office logo. So, kaning ako, 2013 to 365 na versions. So, mine, I'm using the 2019. Mm -hmm. I will click file here. Okay. Sa ako, ano? This is fa a click file. File tab here. Kaning sa iyahang right corner, yun ka ayo. So, I click this one. And then, look for the account na uh, tool. Nasa lower portion. Kaya basing kang, kung gamay mong screen, you cannot see this account na tool. So just scroll down so that you will uh, see the account tool. So I'll click this one here. Then makita na dahil na ako ang patong under sa product activated that is now the version of my uh, PowerPoint. Okay. So, I think everyone got it already. They're, uh, Eileen. Yes, Paul. So can you please tell us uh, what to expect if we have a lower version and higher ah. version for the yes, rest Paul. of the day? Thank you, Paul. Okay, if you have a lower version of your PowerPoint, let's say you have the 2016, pababa, atong 2010, 2013, 2015, 2007, 2003, you can do a audio recording. 
and you can also insert a video but you cannot do a video recording but if you have a version of 2019 higher and also this uh, 365 no version you can do a video recording kay naka built in na, na siya so nana kay uh, tools nga imo diretso ra nimo siya i-click then you can do the audio, uh, the video recording so mao na ang murag naka nindot kung if you have the higher version but it doesn't mean nga kung natay ka tong 2016 20 2015 imo yutong i-reason no kay dili ka makakuha og makahimo og kanang imuhang uh, materials no you can still do the the video recording but then you will need a external nga a device let's say na kay camera tapos nag record ka sa imuhang kaugalingon and then you can insert the the video sa in the uh, on the kaning uh, slides nimo so pwede ra gyapo na siya okay, so as i said don't worry for those who have a lower version of their uh, powerpoint we can still do the activity nga ato ang ihatag karon Okay, so once you, uh, before we will proceed, we will have the short lang, short language kayo, overview of our PowerPoint uh, environment. So let's say na ako, this one here, kanang makita dito ninyo sa inyong taas, kanang na file, home, insert, draw, design, kanang siya. This is what we call it tab. So kung may yung takaro, nagkiklik ni na ako ang home, kibali, I'm in the home tab, na ako sa insert tab, na ako sa animation tab. Now, uh, once I click the, kung asa-asa nga tab, there are tools or kaya gitawag din nato siya nga ribbons. So, kintahay, kanin siya, na ako y, na, I click this home nga tab, na ako yung mga clipboard, nga tools, slides, font, pa paragraph, drawing. So, kanang imong makita, kanang mga uh, i-center ba gani ni mo ang, ang imuhang uh, font, kibali mo na siya atong gitawag nga tools or kaya ribbons. Okay, so familiar na ta. Naka na lang siya ng mga terms nga ato ang magamit karon. Okay, so let's proceed now. Okay, this is our first topic which is creating PowerPoint with lecture narration. Okay, as uh An article by G. Dushi, uh, he said that narration is a time-honored device for oral com uh, communication of knowledge. So why we want to have a narration? Uh, as a faculty, we know that narration is one of the effective methods in teaching. Lisod man sag kayo nang magpantumayin lang mo sa imong isodyente, so you need to narrate yun kung sa imong isulti, kung sa imong i-discuss to, to our students. And uh, in our new normal also, we will giving online materials to our students. Then maybe this one, this PowerPoint, is one of your materials. Nga imo hangi atag. And if you notice, Gani, if you're going to give your your PowerPoint without any explanations, of course, maski kita Gani as a faculty magalisut ako sa may pasabut niya ani PowerPoint niya. Oi, unless if you're going to put a uh, explanations under sa iyang notes, kay asay sa PowerPoint niya gibutang dia na ay notes basahon to niya unsay pasabut ani. Uh, discuss and in presentations ng gihatag ni sir ni ma'am. So, one of the kaning uh, reasons nga why we have these narrations, to help our students nga pag makita, mag, ma-flash to niya itong mga uh, gipangsulat ni mo sa PowerPoint, madunggan sa niya ang imuang historia. So, ma-feel sa student that, uy, nadunggan na ako ang tingog ni sir. So, ma-feel niya nga, I'm still in the classroom. Okay, I have here Two examples, two slides examples. Okay, please uh, listen for this one. <laughs> okay, our next topic is software engineering principles. What are these principles that the software engineer should be keeping in mind? So we believe that uh, principles is not sufficient to have software development because it's general and abstract. That's why principles deals with process and the final product so in this process and product the right process will help produce the right product 
but the right product will affect the choice of which process to use. There are lots of processes that can be applied and we all know that one, right? But you need to select the right one so that there will be no problem encountered in the long run. To apply principles, the software engineer should be equipped with appropriate methods and specific techniques to incorporate the desired properties into processes and products. The methods will serve as the guide and the techniques will serve as the appropriate actions or applications. So, in summary, these methods and techniques are packaged together to form a methodology. Okay, in this figure one, it shows that the principles is the basis of methods and techniques, methodologies, and tools. It's just like a ladderized concept. Kumbaga, principles is the first step in selecting what kind of tools for the product. So, in relation of software development, you need to know the requirements of your client, right? Their needs and its constraints. With this, you will know what kind of software languages you will use to develop the software. Okay? So that is one of the example on uh, creating a narrations of your uh, PowerPoint. No. To do that one, very simple lang yun kaayo, na alang tay isa ka tab nga gamiton. Okay? You're going to use now the slide show tab. So under this one here, look for the record slide show. For those who have this uh, 2016, 2019, parehas sa tagitsura, sir, ma'am, ingon ani inyo makita, slide show, slide show tab, then look for the slide show, a uh, record slide show nga tool. If you are going to click now the arrow down, there are two options. Mag-record baka from the current slide, wherein kung ka karon ako sa slide number 15, masiguro ko karon, or kaya I can record it from the beginning, katong imong first page yun niya. Okay? So you will choose that one. Once you click this one, sa ako ang version 2019, din This is the It will direct me to this page. So kat as I, katong 2019, uh, no, Dilita parehas yung nani makita sa 20, 2016. Ang katong 2019 mao ni imong makita. But then, ang uban, katong lower version, mao ni ang inyong makita. Na amoy tulo ka uh, control, control icon here. You have the uh, play, playback, and then you also have a pause yata ang naadiha, ang kanang tulo din nani nga portion. Okay? Sa iyahang right corner, makita ninyo na nai taas, na gamay nga nga square diha so that is your control kung saan mo pag play pag stop or kaya imong ipaminaw ni mo balik playback for those who have kanang lower version pa yod if you have this uh, 2007 or kaya 2003 version instead of katong record slide show imong makita dito you are going to click the kating record narration then once you click the record narration na kay mo appear pa jud nga window new window uh, dialog which is kaning record narration uh, ang gipa pangutana ra mo sa iya ang gipangutana ra niya ani is okay ba imong speaker okay ba ang imong microphone okay you just click okay din ani then after sa iya hang okay mo appear na sa dayon ang oops sorry 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 mo appear na dayon ang katong asa ka magsugod sa current slide ba or kaya sa first slide ba this is if you have the lower version okay so, nakuha na ba ito na ito? Kung saan na ito pag-click? Okay, let's proceed. So, sa, in my version 2019, so this is now the yahang new page. In the right corner, right corner, I have here three control buttons, which is record, stop, and play. So, once I click record, nada yung pop up nga countdown, 3, 2, 1, meaning prepare yourself to your... Prepare yourself for the narration recording. And then once I've done, well, yung man ako, istorya, istorya din, Ana, I'll click kaning X din, Ani, nga, nga sign, kibali, i-close din nato so that you will go, you will return to your a PowerPoint slide. Okay? 
nakuha na ba na, nakuha na to okay so so for demo okay this is my mm -hmm, let's say this one here okay okay isa ka tip day to od ha okay isa ka tip ah uh, once you have this recording, nasa yung lower portion gani? Have you see ka ng naay notes? Notes, comments, sa kanayang lower version yun kaayo sa inyong screen. You just click ka ng notes, then isulat din ani kung unsa imong isulti para dili ka malibog, kung para di ka mawala sa imong ginasulti. Then, para okay sa kayo ang flow sa imong narration. So, isulat ni na to, then pag-record na to, mauni ato ang basahon. So, in this case, nagsulat ko diyan yung sa'yo akong isulti. And then, I click this slideshow. So, slideshow tab. And then, I look for this record slideshow na tool. So, naiyang arrow down here. Okay? Na ako'y dua ka choices. So, since I'm the I'm in the slide 15, dili ko mo add to sa beginning ha. So, dito di ko sa akong current slide or else... Oh, lahi ang ako ang inirate, lahi isa doon ang mo, mo gawa sa inyong screen. So, I'll click this one here. Okay. This is now the new uh, page. Ako makita sa ako ang screen. Now, once I do the, the narration, so in 2019, katong notes nga ako ang gipansulat, I'm going to click this one here. Dinaay mo appear din ani katong akong gipansulat. So, na to akong basa-basa ako na. For those who don't have this kanang notes nga iyang basahon, pwede ra to nimo nga isulat na lang diya sa imong papel. Nga imuhang basahon na dayon to pag narrate nimo. So, isa lang na siya ka tip ha. Okay, kung sa inyo ang gusto, okay ra kaayo. So, let's have some example for this one. Okay. So, I'll click a record here. Okay, if I'm going to send this one to my students, iyang mabasa ra ang kanila gid principles deal with process then Methods is equal to guidelines, techniques is equal to... Pero kung sa'yo iyahang... Kasi pasabot yun diya ni Ma'am Ani. So, I'll start now. Okay, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Software engineering principles. What are these principles that the software engineer should be kept in mind? We believe that principles is not sufficient to have software development because it's general and abstract. So, principles deals with process and the final product. In this process and product, the right process will help produce the right product, but the right product will affect the choice of which process to use. Okay. And so on and so on. Okay, once I've done this one, I click this stop. Okay. Ang katong mga lower version gani nga katong tulo lang ka button nga ilang makitaan, you can uh, click the katong playback para madunggan ninyo kung sa ito yung gisulti. So, sa ako din, Ani, I will just click replay. Okay. Software engineering principles. What are these principles that the software engineer should be kept in mind? We believe that principles is not sufficient to have software development because it's general and abstract. So, principles deals with process and the final product. In this process and product, the right process will help produce the right product. But the right product will affect the choice of which process to use. So, and so on and so on. Okay, once I've done this one, I click this stop. Okay. So, once I've done, let's say, okay na niya ako ang pag-narrate, no? So, I'm going to close, the, to close this page so that I can go back to my slide. So, close this page. And then, muna niya niya ako ang generate na Okay, is there any questions? Dali ra no kay isa na man ta kataba tong gigamit din isa ra sa gyapon ka tula nga to ang i-click. Nay mo tana. Okay. So since nga walay mga pangutana, let's have our first activity. Okay, this is our activity. You're going to choose a part of your lesson or topic. So, katong, pili lang yun dito. Katong nakananing mga PowerPoint presentation sa ilang klase, you can get uh, that part from from that uh, lesson 
from that materials. And then you're going to create two, two lines of sentences on the slides. Use two slides only, ha? Ayaw na nang padaganan na kayo. Then, you, uh, as I said, isara yun ka tool at tab, then isa sa gapon ka tool atong gamiton. We will use the uh, record slideshow tab or record duration, ka tong, uh, 2003 nga version, 2007 nga version. Then for, for voice recording nar or narration, then it's limited to two minutes only. Two minutes lang ha. Then share your work after ten minutes. Okay, any questions? Okay, we'll give them um, some time, Ma'am Eileen, so that you okay. can also have a break. So everyone, okay. can you please uh, do the activity? Maski wala pa mo yung PowerPoint niya, pwede rin mag-create, create o gamay, tapos para lang yun ma-practice na yung ani na ipang tuslok sa ano. No? We will be silent in 10 minutes. Muna, si Ma'am Eileen, although naaraga po may diri ang mga nawong. Um, we will ask our participants to raise hand if there is some issue so that Ma'am Eileen can respond. Okay? So, kung medyo murag nalibog sa ganitong tuplo ka na ni, please click participant and please click raise hand. No? Or or do chat. Okay? Okay ra na siya? So, okay ra ba? 10 minutes? Alright. So, after 10 minutes or even before that, please chat done. Please write done or your 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 finish with the activity. Okay, Bayon? Let's do the countdown. Thank you. Okay. We have here a timer, ma'am. Later on, mo appear at the a time's up. Okay. Good, good, good. Ma'am, nasa laptop ako nag-work. Ah, okay. Sige, nasa phone akong zoom. Okay. Ah, so delete niya ma-share. Unless you send it here po. Can, ah, hindi? Ibang ko di ay ma-send sa file here, no? Sige, sige. Kinsa may pwede mag-volunteer? Sir Chris, balaba? Would you like to volunteer? Sir Chris, you can unmute yourself. Hmm? Si Sir Siegfried, ma'am. Sir Siegfried also. Yay. You can also share now your screen. Sana mo Sir Chris. Sir Siegfried, would you like to try? Hello, good morning. Uh, we will be discussing today the basic networking concepts on our networking one. Uh, we have two types of network components. First is we have the network devices, which are uh, devices that we need to, to con connect to the, to the network. We have computers, hubs, switches, routers, and wireless access points. So these are the physical devices. Then we also have network media, wherein we have uh, twisted pair copper cabling, fiber optic cabling, and radio waves. So kanisila, these are the media that is used for the devices to work for the uh, for the computer be, to be networked. So kung makita niyo dere, we have the devices, we have the server, the routers, kanina sa picture, firewall. Firewall is a software or a hardware that guards your internet or guards the access from the internet. Then from here, we have the hubs. So hubs are uh, devices that is used to interconnect clients or computers to the servers. Okay. Okay, so for the network devices, we have uh, different kinds of devices. Pero mostly karon um, interconnected or na natin mga devices nga common na tanan. So sa una, we also have the hub. Okay, hub are used to extend the range of a signal by receiving. So we receive niya ang signal and generating it and sending it to other ports. So in short, na siya gidawat, then na siya send. It also allows for collisions on the network segment and offer, often not a good solution because sa so unang magudang hub na to, they, on, they only... Uh, transmit in a half duplex. So, in short, na i, na -i times siya nga mo receive, na po siya time nga mo send. So, na times po ng mga computers, magdunga sila send. So, that is a collision. Okay? They also called con uh, concentrators because they serve a central connection point for a LAN. So, uh, when we say central connection for LAN, na ay uh, siya ang connect uh, siya ang central nga mugkuha sa network sa po mo distribute okay 
then we also have bridges and switches. So, kaning bridges and switches, they are uh, same with hub, pero upgraded lang siya. Because bridges and switches, they are uh, intelligent. Okay? So, they determine the incoming frame to the, and uh, frame to be sent and to the different segment or drop. Absent siya. <laughs> Nag, uh, na na distract ko sa kwani ma'am ma okay sorry ma'am okay so sa bridge it is a uh, device that is intelligent because it determines the frames uh, asa sa gikan and asa pud niya is send so medyo mas pas pas siya compared sa hub si hub man good it receive niya then broadcast niya then we also have a switch a switch is a multiple bridge that has several ports and refers to a table of packs so si bridge man good uh, dalan siya Siya ang tigkuha, siya po ang tig, tighatod. Then si switch, medyo siya ang tig, tigkuha, then naapod siya yung mga listahan kung asa ni siya nga port na kakonek ang mga computer. So, dito niya is specific send, delete niya i-broadcast. Then we also have a power over Ethernet. So, power over Ethernet is a switch that transfers small amounts of DC current. So, in short, atong switch magud sa una, atong switch magud karon of bridge, it needs electricity. But this time, na atay, diba, na atay bagong devices na uh, magkuha siya kurente, gikan ng gapon sa network. <laughs> okay, so I have a sample device here that serves as hub. Pwede sa hub, pwede po siya bridge, and pwede po siya switch. And it can also have a power over Ethernet capability. So, makita ninyo din eh. Uh, this is a switch can also be a hub and a bridge then we also have kaning yellow this is a power over ethernet port so kaning siya ga supply ni siya kurente sa network okay so in short pwede po ni siya mag mag mag, uh, mag on nga walay adapter basta dali lang ipansak ang network because na ni siya kurente magod permente so pwede ni siya mo on nga walay adapter Okay, so this is a one device na gigamit ato for networking. We call this one router. Okay. Uh, grabe sir, by kami magidi mo hang one sir. Imuha. <laughs> Sorry ma'am. Timing mo gud kadto nag roll call na bitaw ka dayon na nag overlap ang kuno ano ka, ka concentrate sa mga story. Pero sa tokan ang you recorded your video. Yeah, ako uh, ni ma'am nag-upgrade bago ka do kamulo ka ko uh, nag-download mag ko din nag-upgrade siya sa 2019 from 2016 upgrade ko na. You pay uh, for the subscription? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, sana all no. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat sir. So, katong iya ma'am Eileen, ano no kanang iya record niya yang video. Na dili siya narration lang kay murag taas man ang version sa iya hang PowerPoint, no? So, ma'am no. Yes ma'am, 2019 na iya hanggi ko ang daw ma'am, gi-install. Okay. So meaning, ma'am Aileen, kanang on sa Malaysia, na atay, na atay 2019 sa university, or on sa Malaysia, na siya trial version, na atay pwede makataod, Ana, para makaingat to sa ta pareha kang sir, sir Fred? Mangunta na ta sa ICT, Ana, ma'am. Ah, okay. Sige, ah. atong i-ko ano, then ato na yung i- Recorded video pala yon, no? From Raptor, Sir Tong. May we hear, what I like about kay katong pagka-record, Sir Tong, no? Ako estudyante, number one, it's very conversational. Dili siya had look pa minawon. Ako feeling na ko, kung malunggan ko sa may estudyante, murag isubra kayo akong tingo, murag grabe kay nga na, no? Pero Sir Sigfred, kalma, nag-explain nga, murag na as atubangan ang mga tao well better gitong iyahang ano na na ay video um, and then very conversational na apa gyud kani mang good no that's good no um atong estudyante i uh, will really appreciate that more thank you sir sick fred may we ask someone you, <laughs> to show um narrated lang gyud kanang wala pay nawong na aba pwede po bang mag mag ano mag say tawag ani kanang volunteer ang uban no kanang kamulo silang zoom sa phone sa laptop sila nagtrabaho so murag dili nila kayo ma maano ma send unless they send us here pwede man gudiri ano how about sir mon naka na narration sir mon and then ma'am Eileen can you 
answer this um, kay Gigan kay Ma'am Aniline. Try the process even if the video is not yet visible. I'll try it after downloading the latest version. Ano sa'yo meaning ni Ma'am Aiwin? Gusto siya mag-video? Gusto siya mag-video siguro, Ma'am, pero wala pa niya na-download. Pero we are in the audio recording pa man, Tat. Oh, dito pa na uh -huh. sa narration uh -huh. lang sa. Oh, narration pa. Pa nag-video po. Yes. Sige po. Can somebody Hi, si here? Si Sir Vismar, Ma'am, volunteer. Vismar, please. You can share your uh, screen. Please click at the bottom the share screen. And a green color, sir, na share screen. I will unmute the uh, survey. I think more we do many time unmute. Sa lower portion, sir, Vismar. Not there. Gida ba? Kaganahan ko ani in mathematics. Sige, so when Sir Vikmar will press Uh, sir, uh, excuse me, Sir Bismar. Sir, sa kanang, sa imuhang uh, upper portion, gani, sir? Na kay, i-click ang kanang more, sir. Then after sa more, i-click na yun ang share uh, sound. Sa upper portion, sir, para madunggan imong tingog. Sa so zoom, Sir Bismar. Logical puzzle is a log is a logical puzzle derived from the mathematical field of deduction. Okay, based on this example, what can you conclude on the procedure below? So first, think of a number. Second, multiply the number by 8. Third, add 6 to the product and 4 divide the sum by 2. And fifth, subtract 3. Now, if you can do the procedures below, the conclusion would be the product of your inductive reasoning. Sir Vismar. Nice, no? Kaya murag interactive kahit dili ta makita sa ito ang mga estudyante na asya'y way na murag yapong nasa classroom. So if you do this, what then? This will tell us great job po! Okay. So sana po um, you'd be successful in 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 um, trying this out, no? Uh, salamat po Sir Vismar, ha? Uh, <laughs> okay. So, Ma'am Aileen will proceed with the next, um, with the next, ano, um, that means na narration, meaning na akag historia, pero na apag makita na subtitle ang mga kwan. Murag nanan ang okay, drama ba? So, may man gitong, the more senses na you tap from students, the more learning, no? Ang ma retain so meaning eyes plus ears. Diba, Ma'am Aileen? Go, Ma'am Aileen. So, we'll move to the next segment. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Uh, thank you sa nag-volunteer. Okay, let's proceed to our next topic, which is uh, creating PowerPoint with uh, subtitles. So, unsa sa ganikaroon ang trend, trending na to karoon kay Mananaw, huwag ka ng Korean novela, no? And then, we are, ma, ma, asa ni, uh, we are engaged of uh, looking for that uh, ma, mga novela Okay, magbasa man sa ilang mga subtitles. Okay, because we, we cannot understand what we are saying. Okay, mga Korean man sila. So, uh, these subtitles will help our students to be, I think, more comprehension and then also they are uh, more engaged of uh, what, you, what, what you are going to uh, discuss with them. Okay, basahon man to nila. And then some of the uh, students also cannot hear kung sa'yo imong gisulti. So, 
mag-base na lang sila sa katong subtitles nga imuhang gi-sulat. And also, ang uban sad kay cannot turn on sa ilahang audio. No, na uban nga siguro daot yung ilahang audio sa instead nga katong nag-narrate ka. So kato na lang sa ilang gibasa may ilahang masabtan. Okay, I have here some I have here sample also the same part of my topic. Okay? Yes. Okay, our next topic is software engineering principles. What are these principles that the software engineer should be kept in mind? So we believe that uh, principles is not sufficient to have software development because it's general and abstract. That's why principles deals with process and the final product. So in this process and product, the right process will help produce the right product. But the right product will affect the choice of which process to use. There are lots of processes that can be applied and we all know that one, right? But you need to select the right one so that there will be no problem encountered in the long run. To apply principles, the software engineer should be equipped with appropriate methods and specific techniques to incorporate the desired properties into processes and products. The methods will serve as the guide and the techniques will serve as the appropriate actions or applications. So, in summary, these methods and techniques are packaged together to form a methodology. Okay, in this figure one, it shows that the principles is the basis of methods and techniques, methodologies, and tools. It's just like a ladderized concept. Kumbaga, principles is the first step in selecting what kind of tools for the product. So, in relation of software development, you need to know the requirements of your client, right? Their needs and its constraints. With this, you will know what kind of software languages you will use to develop the software. Okay, that is a sample of our subtitle. So, uh, isa sa gapon ani sa tuang tip, no? If you are going to have the subtitles, so meaning, ang imuasang i-discuss is limited sa gapon because, as I said katong kanina, that uh, PowerPoint, PowerPoint is not as kanang high, high yun nga kanang iyang pagkatools as, as the same as katong Adobe, Filmora for the editing of the uh, of the subtitles. So we have here only two steps on how to do this one. I know we are only using uh, two tabs, the insert tab and then the anima animation tab. First is click insert and then look for the text box. Okay, kanyang text box, this is the kanang, di ba, mao to atong i-encode kung sa ito ang i-encode din anak nga ito ang i-discuss. So we know this one already. Okay, the next tab is animations. So don't be kanang overwhelmed of the number kay when we are going to use our mouse to just click click raman ta ni Ani so sayon ra ni siya no so steps lang ato ang makita first is we going to click the animation tab next is kaganina kay uh mo appear man to siya no so there are when you click the anime animation tab there are lots of effect options there but we are going to use the kanin appear nga effect. Katong kanina ni sir, katong sample gani ni katong ikaduha ni sir, sorry ah. Uh, may appear ang iyang kuan, iyang slide, so lahi na sa to siya nga effect. But uh, appear lang sa ato ang gamiton karon. So next is, when you have this one, continuation ni siya sa katong ato ang pag-insert na ninyo sa inyong kuan ha, sa inyong text box, sa inyong mga text. So next is you are going to click the animation pane na tool under gapon siya sa animation tab. So once you click this uh, animation pane, sa iyang right side na kay table yung makita. So kanin sa iyang table, for those who've done these animations nga nga uh, functions, you know this one already. Okay, kaning one din ani magcorresponds ni siya din hisad sa imuhang nagbuhat nga text box sa imuang slide. So if you have many slides 
Nasa gyapon siya, daghan din mo makita din ani. Okay, next is under under sa imong animation pane, uh, click this effect options nga tool. How to click? Sa kanang iyahang arrow down gani, kintay ang kani siya one mamani siya no. So meaning this is the active nga text box nga imuhang i uh, edit kung sa imong ipang edit ya. So click arrow down then it will appear this window dialog. Then click this effect options. Once you click the options, there is a new window dialog again nga mo appear. Pag click ni mo aning effect options. For the 2019, mao ni ang itsura niya. For those lower version, naalay dua katab ang makita. Sa 2019 and other, I think, naagya po is sa 2016, 2015, na ay tulo ka tab makita din ani. Effect, timing, and then text animations. For those lower version, naalay effect and timing. But anyway, ang ato ang magamit ani is effect and timing raman dyan. Sa kanina activity, sa for the subtitles. Now, we will choose this effect by default, effect tab ang ato ang makuha. Now, under this one here, na ay tulo ka, uh, makita na to na sound, after animation, then animate text. We will choose first this animate, animate text. Unsa o na to pagpagawas niya sa katong ato ang nasulat nga sa text box? Is it all at once? By word? Or by letter? Katong sample ngayon yung nakita kanina is all at once ang iyahang pag-choose ato pag-appear. If you notice, pag appear sa isang uh, katong isang slide na uh, text box is nasa day mo gawas nasa day yon all at once ang katong nakasulat sa imuhang text box. Okay? So I which I choose that one all at once. So pag abot sa iyang all at once, pwede na kumo click okay or kaya I will proceed to the other kung daghan ko katong mga text box niya. Okay. I-choose na ko ang kaning after anim animation. By default, ang nakasulat diag, don't dim. But then, we will change that one. Ang akong gibuat kanina is, I'm using the katong mouse raman. So, I use this hide on next mouse click. Okay. Maumani ang ako ang gagi manual man ako siya. Once I click mouse, then mo appear, mo mawala to atong previews, then mo appear ang katong new nga text box. So, this is the uh, iyahang procedure katong pagpawala sa previews para mutunga ang katong imuhang present sa nga imuhang text box. Okay? Then, once you're done, i-click na to ang iyahang okay. So, take note for this, kaning uh, text box nga dialog na akay duha kabuhaton. Under niya is animate text. You will choose kung unsaon pagpagawas niya, by, by word ba, at all once ba, or by letter. And then after that one, after animate animations, Imuha ni siyang i-change, which is ang kani siya, hide, o next, mouse, click, or kaya kung nag-i-animate -anima to na ito ni mo itong katong isa ka text box, you can use this hide after animation. Okay. Just for one. Okay. So, mo niya ito ang i-sample kanina, no? Uh, kung dagan kay katong text box niya, mo niya mo makita dire. Kani nga portion sa iyang animation pane. Okay. Then, iyahang delay, for number six, nato yung muchos, muchos da yung tao ka ng i-click ba nato, or kaya i-previews ba nato, or kaya after ay after the previews, or with the katong iyahang previews niya nga musunod na kibali siya, or mudungan siya sa imuang previews. So, you can change that one ng mga options din ani sa ato ang step number six. Sa iyahang after sa kanang aabay ra sa imong animation pane, naadya kung unsaon ni mo pag uh, pag appear ang katong imuhang mga text box. Okay. So, for the demo, Okay, example this one here. Naggipili ko na siyang ikaduha na akong slide because gamay ra nga nga text box akong ibuhat. Okay, example I have here. Kani. Mao ni ako ang first nga gisulti. How I do this one, how I did this one is katong ako ang gisulat diri sa ako ang notes, I copy this one here. 
and then gi insert ay insert gi paste na ko din ni using sa katong text box na to okay gi paste na ko diya tanan ang katong akong gipang sulti so katong inyong activity number 1 which is narration as is na to siya as is na then ato lang dugangan og subtitle now mao na ni akong gipang sulat no kaning naa sa text box So one by one ako siyang i ako siyang gi timing uh, isa ra gyud ka line ang masaigo ani. So mao tong nag copy paste, copy paste ko ani kani siya na sad. Kani ako this is my first line. The next is my second line is Kitay i-copy ho na sad din ako. I-paste na sad din ako siya. Tanggalo na sad to na ako tong ako ang second line. Second line ako. So, this is now my this is now my second line. Until nga mahuman ka sa imuhang last word niya imong isulti. So, this is now the mauna din ang nahitabo niya. I changed the color of so also of the kanang subtitles para ma-identify yun siya nga mo itong subtitles nga ako ang isulti. Mo ito ilang basahon. So, katong example ng imuhang text box sa imuhang slides is na color black So your subtitles. One tip lang also also is your subtitle. You change the color of your subtitles also. Kato imong text box, a text ni mo, para maklaro yun nga kanas yah. Okay, these are now. So kato ako generate sa kung second slide. I have here one, one, two, three, four, five, six ka lines na ko. Okay. Now after that one, ako ano dahil na siyang gi. Sumpay-sumpay din ani. How do you know nga kani siya ang first, mauni siya siya ang second? Okay. Animations. Mauni atong animation pane. Okay. So mauna ni ang content karon sa katong ako ang mga text box. This one here, under sa animation table. Okay. Now, this is my first one. If you notice, di ba, naay ka nung ihang ng bering gani? Ang uban na na ay zero, na ay one, anak. If you notice sir, kung nagred ganin na siya, meaning this is your activate, uh, nakaactivate ni siya ng text box. So which corris, uh, which corresponds ta kanisya din ani sa imong animation pane. If I'm going to click another one, lahi is sa gapo nag uh, nagactivate sa gapo ni siya. So let's say kanisya animation. Okay, this is my first animation, my first text box. In this figure one, it shows kanisya. So ako ng click din ani. Nag-start ko with previous. Pag-start na ko previous meaning, pag-click na ko o oh, uh, sa ako ang din any, any keyboard, any key sa akong keyboard, mo appear sa mo, dunga ni siya, mo gawas ni in this figure, ay it shows kani kana. Next is uh, this one. This is my second. This is now my second uh, text box. So I'm going to click this arrow down here. Mo gawas siya Start after preview. So, after nga mugawa siya sa katong methods and techniques, which is my first text box na ko. So, gi, butang na ko siya sa start after previews. Then, iyahang effects options is effect here. I choose here animate text all at once. Then, after animation, muhide siya on the next mouse click. So, mawala dayo ni siya nga text box after mahuman, uh, mahuman ni siya, mawala ni siya para mo appear ang katong imuang text, ay mong next nga text, nga text box. Okay? So, once I've done that one, so, i-arrange na dahil ni nako siya. Dini nga portion. Okay. Don't worry if your arrangement is, wala siya naka-sequence naka din ani. It's because under this animation pane, naka-sequence naman siya, dini nga portion. So maskig ang kaning imuhang diri is not it's it's not the next katong imuhang previous nga text box pero sa imuhang pagcontrol diri is naka sequence na. Okay? Okay. Giingon ani ra dayon siya mo na mugawas siya is just like nga one line only. But in reality gisa pa usa pa ra dayon nimo siya. Okay, any questions? Natay mga pangutana. So if you have a narration nga mga uh, 
isa ka siguro gab another tip also is uh, you, you can have mga four or five sentences sa imuhang narrations or kaya in one in one slide or else kung dili ka gusto nga isa ka line gani pwede ra man gyapon pwede ra pwede nimo nga kanang isa ka five lines tapos ipa-appear nila ipagawas nimo siya all at once or kaya by word ba kaya or by letter ba kaya so example let's say kani ato ang first example no let's say this one i'm going to for under sa yang effect options i'm going to uh, change this one by word so meaning pagawas niya ani is by tagsa-tagsa in this figure one ana and then ang iya ma-adjustan gyapo nato ni siya kung unsa kapaspas mo appear ang by word niya either kani siya ang adjustment below the by word ipapaspas ba nato siya or kaya ipayaya the more gani iyang time ani nga atong ibutang dinhi meaning is mo slow ang iyang pag-appear or ang pag-appear pag sa imuhang slide kung low kung gamay gani ini yan dinani nga time meaning papaspas siya ang pag-appear sa imuhang slide okay example this one here by word siya and then akong gi-adjustan ang iyang uh, delay which is 0.3 second okay then let's say ako aning okay Okay, play. Okay, in this figure one, it shows that the principles is the basis of methods. Okay. Mauna siya, ang kung by, by word lang siya. By letter, you can change again. Okay, any, any questions? Clarifications of this one? Before we proceed to our next activity, we're showing the steps, Ma'am Eileen, no? Okay, yes, po, Ma'am. Activity. Yes, Ma'am. So this is now our next activity. Okay, in this. Okay, this is our activity number two. Again, you are going to use the activity one, Ningyo, Kanina. So please do not delete your narration in activity one. Or kaya kung gusto yun ka nga ka ng gamay ra imong generate so you can delete but then you can write kung unsa na dayon to imong i-generate as your subtitles. Then use, you will use the insert tab and animations tab for creating subtitles of your narrations. Then again, natay, you, you will be given 10 minutes to, to do your uh, work and then share it at, after 10 minutes. Okay? So this is not the steps and how to do okay so in 10 minutes please try to follow the steps here try lang po may not really be perfect para makita lang nato na we can do man the i the subtitle so that again as we emphasize kanina if you can also tap as many senses the hearing as well as the seeing um, retention is higher for any resource that we're sending our students so 10 minutes mama Eileen. Yes, um so if you have concerns issues challenges please do chat or raise hand so that mama Eileen can answer them um and then if you are if you're if you have successfully done this activity please yes once once we click this uh, effect options ma'am nai mo gawas nga new window dialog effect options oh mo na dai ni ato ang uh, anime animations nga buhaton of that a text box so it will appear here nga you have this uh, appear nga effects makita man din na if you will choose if fly in nga effect na say fly in din ani makita nimo Unsay i-click, on-click, kung pera ah. nito. Unsay i-choose, on-click. Ang um, ap appear, ma'am, nga kuan Appear oh, nga uh, effect. After. Sa time uh, after this one, yes po. Uh, Nai-under niya sa enhancements nga, kasi tawag na ito, table. Uh, Nai-sounds, nai-after animation, and then animate text. 
First is uh, you can choose this animate animate uh, text kung unsa ni mo pagpa-appear all at once ba by word or by letter. Pero pag abot sa timing ba is it with previous or after previous? Up uh, uh, after previous, ma'am. So, na rin ta dani sa katong ato ang Even if oh. the first? Ah, okay. Mm. Okay. So, that, that, that is our kanin siya, ma'am. Uh, sa tong step number six, natay start on click ba or with previews or with with previous ba? After previous or with previous ba? Okay, example. Okay, let's say this one here. This is our... Natay dua ka tab here. This is our first tab. Okay, when I click this one here, click, click options. Okay, so na mao niya to ang dua ka tanawan under sa iyang effect na tab. Ha? We have here the after animations. Hide on next mouse click because I'm using a mouse lang siya, manual lang siya. And then animate, animate siya by word. The timing, either you can choose this tab, timing tab, or kaya I can use this dani nga portion. So para dili na kumuha ni dinani, I can just simply use this dialog box. So for the timing, naka start ni ani. I put here with previous because this is my first line man sa kong narration. Okay, I will click okay. Now my second line, this is now my second line. I choose the color of blue for my hand. Okay. And then animations appear, click appear. And then under this one, this is now the text box sa katong akong number 1. Okay, I will click the arrow down, then choose effect options. So, under this one, effect tab. Under sa iyahang anime, anime text, ako ang ipagawa siya all at once. Then, after animation, mawala sa siya. Pagkahuman. And then, sa kaning timing tab, click the timing tab for the timing. Okay, it will start... Dili na siya on click or kaya it's either on click kaya halimbawa kung mahuman na to ang on click man good if you're going to use the on click once the first text box na mahuman imong i-click sa imuhang mouse or else para you can you will not click your mouse you can choose this after previews Okay so after previews niya ani click okay So mugawas ni siya pagkahuman sa to ang first line. So example Okay. Okay, in this figure 1, it shows that the principles is the basis of methods and techniques, methodologies and tools. It's just like a ladderized concept. Kumbaga, principle Okay. Uh, notice here nga katong pag pag humaniya og katong gawas sa techniques gidiretso dayon gigawas si kaning sa katong second nga text box which because ato asya ang gikontrol nga sa iyang timing that after previous man dinhi sa ato ang second text box then just click okay so on and so forth or if you have uh, many text box niya nga imong gihimo Yay! Mary Jane Dunn and Sir uh, Ma'am Christine Apolinar. Yes, Sir Pablo. Okay, ragdili matiwas tanan. Yes. For example, ragyod. Sir Charlemagne Dunn, that's good, ah. Okay, ako kay Morag is... Ako bitong challenges, Ma'am Aileen, kay... Yes, Ma'am. O, alam ba niya kung gisulti niya, mas una to nigawas ang sunod nga line kaysa first line. So, I think, pero, mugawas na, mugawas na kung sa title. Ang order uh -huh. lang siguro, Ma'am Aileen, no? Sa timing ra na siya, Ma'am. For the timing, we can, uh, puro one ang naasa ako, mga good, Ma'am Aileen. Ah, nagkuan na ka, Ma'am. Katong nag-click lang ka. Uh, click by mouse or with after previews ka, Ma'am? Oo. Oh. Mm. So, dapat. 
So, dinani na tayo na ni mo ma'am ang delay. Kung kanusan ni mo siya ipagawas. Delay. Dari nga portion. Effect options na siya or timing. Delay ma'am. Under sa animations also. So, murag mag-review-review gika kung check to yung timing, no? Yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Mau lang ning naka kuan kay we are just only using a uh, powerpoint nga uh, dili siya parya sa katong mga adobe and filmora that you have really a good timing dali ra kay nimo pag adjust well anyway uh, mao masad ni ang pinaka common sad sa to ah. so kaya day gyapon sa to ang powerpoint the nice us the rismars jed Perlin, Mary Jean, kinsay mag-volunteer. Pero naalan kita makita na naka, na kaya di ay ni, no? Kaya it's, it's struggle siya sa primero, pero siguro kung is, masend na sa ito ang, ang ano, um, PowerPoint presentation ni Ma'am Aileen, na naana dito yung ano, and then we have um, our, at our own pace and at our time, kaya di ay, kaya, na kaya magyapon sa itong kawagan. So, Kinsa ka hay pwede. So, Ma'am Je Mary Jane, Ay, stop share ko lang ni Ma'am. Oo. Okay. Ma'am Mary Jane, pwede. Can you also can you share? Just click the bottom uh, click share. Green share screen. Sayan so, na si Ma'am Mary Jane. Ma'am Mary Jane Moralia. Ma'am, phone ako gamit. Ah, okay. Phone dahi ang gamit dahi sa Zoom. So, di siya ka-share. I think they're working on a desktop tapos naka-Zoom ang, ko ano, ang meeting. Sige. Kinsa ka pwede? Jed? Sir Jed? Sir Jed ba? Isa working on a... Pwede man sa desktop ang Zoom. Can Sir Jed share? Ah, si si Jed na sa phone di ako niyang zoom bili siya ng share. But um, we're seeing na medyo nakafollow man ang uban, Sir Sir Mark kaya Arcelia kaya kaya Sir Mark. Ah, ano kaya? Welcome to this proposal. Big give <laughs> Service Mar? Pwede po. Service Mar na siya na ba? Service Mar. Service Mar. Service Mar. Service Mar. Can you do it? What What do you mean? Nag-adjust ka balik Service Mar? Ma'am Aileen, pag permiro, pag permiro dapat siya mo gawas, unsa dapat iyahang timing with previews? Start with previews or start a previews or start on... Naka-unmute daw, Ma'am Ay. I can't unmute yourself, Ma'am Ay. Uh, Nara, duwara iyahang pilihan, Ma'am. On kuan ba siya, on click or with previews siya. Kung mo na imong first nga slide. Pero ang first nga text, 
Bansa man ang kuwan. Um, pag first, dapat siya mo gawas. Um, start with previews or start after previews or start on click. Okay, sa kuwan, ma'am, pwede rin siya nga... So, researchers, uh, okay. from Under sa iyahang timing, pwede siya nga on click Gamitin niya iyang mouse or any sa kanang uh, key sa keyboard or kaya with previews. If kung mag with previews siya, once nga mahuman tong isa kay slide, ito yung preview slides. Pero primero man siya nga slide. Y yes ma'am, katong iyang primero nga slide. Ay kung primero nga slide ma'am, dito siya sa with click. Kay, okay. oo, primero pa nga slide man. Ay on click siya. Service mar, okay na sir. Nga, isa lang kay slide, sir. Okay, uh, service mar, okay na sir. Kung ka nang isa lang kay slide, sir. Click for the day is mathematical reasoning. <laughs> Inductive reasoning is the process of reaching general conclusion by examining specific examples. Oh, Maylene, I uh, message to Sir Bernard. Sir? Ay, ma'am. Sorry po. Ah, sa akong laban din na adyo yung mga pictures na dili na masin. Okay, raba daw to Sir. Ma'am, I din kay Sir Brismar. Hindi makayo eh. Okay, okay, man to yung agpa lang to yung mam at katong timing timing na to yung mam. Which is pwede na to mafix when we have the time. Ako ah ang ang struggle na ko mamailin ang sunod. Ako yung pangutana mamailin before we proceed. Kasi kung ako nagrecord tasa narration. Yes, ma'am. Tapos na ab, di ba while you were recording ang katong script supposed to be ng atong gisulat na to sa atong click to add notes. Um, when you're recording, gagawa siya dito sa katong when you were recording. However, kung ang ato ng mga estudyante mo tanaw ato, di naman to siya mugawas, no? Ah, yes, ma'am. Dili, ma'am. Very good. Dili, ma'am. Oh, sa 2 hour yun to, ma'am. Sa 2 hour itong screen. Very nice, ha? Yes. Salamat po. Sige po. So, the others, I'm sure, medyo namakuha ninyo, but it's the timing that is pag-embed ang, ano, no, ang importante. And then, when the guide is already sent, I think we can really do this na. Sige po. May we ask Mama Eileen to proceed to the next, uh, last segment niya. No? And then we move to Dr. Hino Salad. Okay. Our last topic, which is creating PowerPoint with video of the lecturer. So in this uh, activity, ang katong version nga 2019 and version 365, pwede taani. Because they have uh, this uh, built-in function of the PowerPoint. But then, Katong lower version is, uh, wala sila'y built-in nga video recording. But as I said, as Ma'am Ma Amfi said also nga, ayaw lang mong kagol, Ana, because uh, pwede man nag na to siya mahimo ang katong mga previous na itong activity. You can have the uh, narration ba kaya or katong subtitles. Or else, if you really want to show your face, katong imong video, you'd come, mo video, you kasi mong kagalingon. Yes, you can do that one. Also, kay... Uh, this PowerPoint has a tool also for this uh, inserting a video sa isulat ni mo, ay butang ni mo sa imo ang slide. Okay, this is an uh, example. This the next topic, topic is software engineering principles. What are these uh, principles that the software engineer should be kept in mind? We believe that principles are not sufficient to have software development because it's general and abstract. That's why principles deals with process and the final product. So in this process and product, the right process will help produce the right product. But the right product will affect the choice of which process to use. There are lots of processes that can be applied, and we all know that one, right? But you need to select the right one so that there will be no problem encountered in the long run. So to apply principles, the software engineer should be equipped with appropriate methods and specific techniques to incorporate the desired properties into processes and products. The methods will serve as the guide and the techniques will serve as the appropriate actions or applications. 
So overall, methods and techniques are packaged together to form a methodology. This figure one, it shows that uh, principles is the basis of methods and techniques, methodologies and tools. It's just like a ladderized concept. The principles is the first step in selecting what kind of tools for the product. So in relation of software development, you need to know the requirements of your client, their needs, and its constraints. With this, uh, you will know what kind of software languages you will use to develop a software system. Okay, so the, uh, very simple lang to siya. The same as ang katong ato ang uh, narrations, there are only uh, two steps. We are only using one tab, which is the slideshow. And then click for the record slideshow. Then we have then at in the arrow down in the arrow down. And then we have here the two options: the record from current slide and car, uh, record from the beginning. Okay. Uh, so this is now then the new page after I click those options. So if you have the 2019 or kaya a 365 version of your PowerPoint, maoni ang ato ang appearance of the after we click those uh, options so in the below portion there na akay tulok a controls na akay microphone you have also the camera and then the imo ang appearance but this this two is very important so if you are go, if you want to appear your face so you just click this camera para maka turn on siya okay so ang katong mga lower version don't worry, makafalo lang yapon mo ani later on. If you are, if we, uh, if we will use this uh, uh, insert video, uh, insert video. Okay, for the demo, then I start my recording. Demo on creating video record. For the demo, okay, we have here. Let's say slideshow. Slide. I click the slide uh, slideshow tab and then record slideshow. Tools, then I will choose this uh, from current slide. Okay, this is now the appearance. And then I will click this camera here. Then at the portion. Wait, uh, we can't see it, Mama. Camera na. Wait, ah. Uh. Okay. For the demo, click current slide. Okay. I will choose this one here, camera. Um, Eileen. Yes, ma'am. Naka-play ang imuhang PowerPoint, so we cannot see what you're clicking. Oh, sorry po. Kasi mm -hmm. mong video na off. <laughs> okay. This one, ma'am. Okay na? Demo on creating video recording. Mo'y makita ninyo? Ah. Uh, oh, yes po, ma'am. Okay. So let's proceed. So this is the demo. Okay, uh, look for the slideshow tab. Click that one. And then look for the record slideshow. Okay. Then click click this one here. We will click the uh, this option, record from current slide. Okay, this will uh, appear sa kong new page. So, sa iyang lower portion here na ako'y camera, naasad ko'y uh, camera, and then naasad ko'y microphone. For a while, ah. Uh, okay. So, once I, I click this record, mag-start na sa dahil na nga po ang... Um, nakita, Ma'am Aileen, a record. It's well, the slide demo on creating video. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. But then, We're sa kanil... We're what you're clicking. Yes. Uh, okay, na... You have the escape. The this is okay. Once I click the katong record slide show, this one here. Pag click na kong up from current slide, this is the appearance of the of the new page. Mo ni siya ang appearance, and then I have here kani lower portion here. Mm -hmm. Naakay uh, button nga uh, microphone and then you have here the camera. Mm -hmm. So dapat naka-on ni siya. This is uh, as I said mawala ni applicable lang ni siya sa 2019 and then uh, 365 nga version. So naka-on ka ani, then you can start your 
uh, video recording. Okay, let's try. Kung unsay makita sa ninyo diya karon. Uh, wait na. Okay, this is the demo. I click from current slide. Okay. Uh, makita ba ninyo sa kaniyahang katong kanina nga makita katong sa record, stop and play, replay sa ibabaw? No. No? What okay. we're seeing is a okay. slide na naimar ka demo on creating video recording. Okay, sige ma'am. I will just click record here, record button here to start my recording. Okay. It will appear? Yes, we're seeing. Okay. Mao na itong igawas na itong countdown na 3, 2, 1, and then it appear my account na ang So I start my lecture now. Okay, this is the demo on recording, venture recording. So if I'm going to emphasize demo here, I can use the pen to write something or to circle ni siya. Or kaya I will use a highlighter para kintahay ako ano siyang i-highlight ang video recording. Or I can choose any color from here also. So this is one of the example for the video recording. Okay, once I've done, I will click this stop here. Sa iyahang right button, katong dilit ninyo makita sa yung screen. But sa akong akong screen here, I have your three buttons in the upper portion sa akong ang kaning nakit below ah kaning slides niyo yung nakita na ako y button here, control button nga ako ang i manipulate. So I will click here stop, stop the video, and then click here akong X. To go back to my slide. Now, this is now. Mo na niyot atong makita karon. Mo na na kay video din ani. You can resize this one also. Pwede ra. Okay. So pwede ra. You can have this one. Your your video. And then you can have also. Pwede ra ng atong aon ni niyo. Let's say this one here. You can choose this one. Okay. Let's say, Mauni, imong ipang sulat din, Annie. In the Moros Gym. The same lang. Okay. Once I click this one, it's a... Okay. Mauna itong gigawas na itong countdown na 3, 2, 1, and then it appear my account now, din, Annie. So, I start my lecture now. Okay. This is the demo on recording, venture recording. So, if I'm going to emphasize demo here, I can... I will resize my... Video para makita ito ato ang ipanghimo kanina. Okay. Mauna itong gawa sa itong countdown na 3, 2, 1, and then it appear my account na akong ginani. So I start my lecture now. Okay. This is the demo on recording, venture recording. So if I'm going to emphasize demo here, I can use the pen to write something or to circle ni siya. Or kaya I will use a highlighter. Para kintahay ako ano siyang i-highlight ang video recording. Or I can choose any color from here also. So, this is one of the example for the video recording. Okay, once I've done. Okay. Uh, so, this is, that is one of the example lang sa video recording. But, uh, ang katong uban nga Walay video recording later on ha, magkuanta sa katong on how to insert. So this is the example. Na 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 tay video na na tay video sa tong now. We can have the narrations and also we can have this subtitle. So this is now the example. This figure one, it shows that principles is the basis of methods and techniques, methodologies and tools. It's just like a ladderized concept. The principles is the first step in selecting what kind of tools for the product. So in relation of software development, you need to know the requirements of your client, their needs, and its constraints. With this, uh, you will know what kind of software languages you will use to develop a software system. So, kompleto na siya. Kompleto na siya, no? Nanatay, nanatay video, nanatay musulti na ta, makita pa yun iyahang ka tong uh, subtitle. So, kaya na ni siya sa ito ang PowerPoint. But for those who don't have these uh, built-in functions of the PowerPoint, we can have this uh, 
Another functions of the PowerPoint were in pwede ta maka insert a video on the slide. This is different from the katong hyperlink ha because if you are using the hyperlink and then you will be sending the kanang file ni mga PowerPoint, you also include that katong files nga imo ang isend. Unlike this inserting a video is no need for you to send also katong iyang video kung dili naka embed na ni siya din ani sa imo ang PowerPoint mismo. So if you are sending this file, isa ra ka file imo ang isend. So to insert this one uh, 2016, can you please, can nang ikuan ng inyo hang kuan, uh, sabay, mag-raise hands lang mo, 2016, 2013, and I think 2015. Okay, this is the, this is the uh, steps on how to insert a video. You just click this, uh, you just click this insert tab, and then in the, in the right corner there, nakita, makita ninyo ang iyahang video or kaya audio. But then, choose this video. Then, kung imo ang video is kwaon sa online ba or kaya video on nasa imong PC, you can choose this. Ano siya nga options also. Okay? Then, once you click the online, let's say, gikan sa imo ang PC, dapat gikan sa imo ang PC ha. Dili ingon nga external nga device. Let's say you have your the video ka, because we're using the external device here. You can use a camera or kaya sa imong cellphone. Now let's say na ako sa imong you you have this a video recording using your cellphone. Ang katung imong file niya ato is you need to save. You need to transfer it sa imong PC. Para dito na dahil imo ko aon ang katung iyang file. Okay. So, from that PC, ikuha na ni mo, and then insert the file. So, for the demo, okay, I, ha I click here, insert tab, and then this one here, video, and then ako ang pangitaon ang video on my PC. Okay, I will choose this one here. Kani, naana ni, na video na ni. Okay, insert. Okay, I can resize that one. So, on site, ang makita ninyo ani is uh, first page sa inyong or kaya first kung sa kung nagvideo pa ka first of uh, uh, frame sa imuhang hang video mo na makita and may mo appear din ani. So in this case kani siyang ako ang insert ng video. This is the first nga makita yun mo sa ba. Iyang screen nga imo makita. Now if I'm going to play this one The next step. Okay, sample. The next topic is software engineering principles. What are these uh, principles that the software engineer should keep in mind? Okay. We believe that principles are not sufficient to have software development because it's general and abstract. That's why principles deals with process and the final product. So in this process and product, the right process will help produce the right product. But the right product will affect the choice of which process to use. There are lots of processes that can be applied, and we all know that one, right? But you need to select the right one so that there will be no problem encountered in the long run. So to apply principles, the software engineer should be equipped with appropriate methods and specific techniques to incorporate the desired properties into processes and products. The methods will serve as the guide and the techniques will serve as the appropriate actions or applications. So overall, methods and techniques are packaged together to form a methodology. Okay, so... So, that is how you're going to insert your video. Another functions of this uh, PowerPoint is, pwede sa Giapunta, if you have this uh, 2015, 2016, uh, 2018, I am not sure of the 2013. 
Those who have 2013, can you please just raise your hands lang, no? If you have this screen recording on the slide, a uh, screen recording, sorry, screen recording a tool, you can uh, find that one under sa imong insert tab. Then sa iyang right side corner is na makita ni mo ang screen recording. For those who have uh, 2013, na ba mo ingon ani? Because 2015, I think that have this screen recording. Twenty thirteen? Na inyo ani? Twenty fifteen. I'm sure na ay sa twenty fifteen. Okay. So for for the inserting a screen recording on the slide, this is the steps. You click the insert tab. Am I? You are muted. Did you mute yourself? Ma'am Aileen, nakamute ka. Ma'am Aileen? Ma'am? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Wala, ma'am. Hello? Yes. Ah, yes. Nadunggan ako, ma'am. Oo. Kanina, Murag, nawala lang kalit. Nawala. Okay. Okay. For the... Hindi daw mabasa. Recording. Yes, ma'am. Can you... Hello? Hindi daw mabasa. Ma'am Bebot? If you're Hello? using... Ma'am Bebot, if you're using a cell phone, you can pinch it. You can also click um, that only ano po, only the screen is ano, the rest of the participants are small or gal not gallery view. Kasi nag-comment si ma'am na dili daw niya mabasa. Please proceed ma'am ay. Okay. Thank you ma'am. Uh, for the inserting the screen recording, you will click here insert tab. And then click the screen recording uh, tool here. Once you click the screen recording tool, naada yoy mo gawa sa upper portion niya sa imong screen. If you know, later on, ma mabalan na ninyo. Ngayon, kanisya mo gawa sa inyo ha. There are tools here, na kay record, na kay select area, audio, and then record pointer. So sa kaning select area here, katura yun nga area ang iyang i-record sa iyang sa imong screen. For those who are not included sa katong imuhang gi-select nga area, it will not be recorded. Okay. So, example. No? So, uh, I will click this screen recording here. Okay. And then I will select a portion. Let's say, kanilang ako ang i-select. And then I will click record para mag-start na ko. 3, 2, 1, na ay siya'y kuan, na siya'y uh, countdown. So, mao na rin yung makita. Ang kanyang iyang red portion here nga na ay broken line, mao ni siya ang area lang na iya imuhang i-record. So, this this is, uh, pwede ni siya yun gamiton for those who have who are kanang teaching programming gani. So, pwede na din aning nga mag-codes ka, makita yun sa estudyante. Masubaybayan niya. Okay. So another one is Okay. Another option uh, another function of the PowerPoint is 
This one. Converting PowerPoint presentation into video. So, kaya na di ay ni siya sa PowerPoint. Into video. No need for you to have kaning uh, another software gani to convert your PowerPoint into video. Kani is built in na sa Japan. Wala ta kabalo nga kaya na di ni siya sa video. Now, the steps. Okay, uh, why we need to have this uh, video day to and makonvert na to siya sa video? It's because uh, tong tanawan iya ang compatibility. Okay. Let's say if you have this uh, ish, uh, version sa imong PowerPoint nga 2007 and then you are going to send it to your student. Now, sa imong student have 2013, 2019 or higher version compare sa imong uh, PowerPoint version Pag-abot na sa ilaha, mga bungkag ng uban diha, dili siya compatible. Or else, ang katong imuhang, or else vice versa. For those who have this upper, uh, higher version of the PowerPoint, tapos pag-send niya sa mga students, then students have this lower version of their PowerPoint, mga bungkag sa gyapon ang kanang iyang mga arrangement sa imuhang ihi mo nga PowerPoint presentation. And then, uh, if you have this uh, mobile uh, video file format, students can play anywhere. Especially nga students have this smartphone mansad. So, pwede rin lang madaladala. Kay kung naka-PowerPoint lang na siya, nga pag-send ni mo, some of the mo, uh, smartphone don't have this PowerPoint nga mga applications nga ma-install sa ilang uh, cellphone. But if you have this video file format, pwede ra to nila nga ma-play. No? Kung asa ila hang gusto, kung unsa unsa or kanus-an nila ma, ma, ma gusto nila nga ma-play. Then uh, it has a small storage also. Dili niya siya dako kayo. Nga moabot og gig kung if, if you are going to convert this uh, PowerPoint presentation into video format, in, into video file format. So, kaya na siya ma-save o ma-play sa ilahang mga cellphone. Okay, for the demo. Okay, this is, uh, sorry, for the, uh, this is the steps on how to save, to convert it into video file format. Go to, to your home and then uh, click the home tab. And then look for the save us. Ano? Uh, home file? No. Sorry. This is this is the file. Sorry. File. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Click for the file file tab. And then after sa file tab, look for the save us. So after sa save us, Makita da yung tong iyahang another dialog again. Diba? Dato ka nag mag, mag enter tag kung kung say uh, file name sa tong file and then below that one na kay save as type. Now for by default you have the PowerPoint presentation iyahang type. We need to change this one into uh, video format which is naka M, uh, MP3 baka or kaya naka MP4 baka. In my PC, I have here the MPEG-4. So, pwede na ko siya makonvert into uh, MPEG-4 nga video format. If you have the MPEG-3, pwede gyapon. If you have the MOV, ibali mo na yung extension of your file name. So, pwede gyapon na ni mo. Or any of the video nga file format nga din ani imuhang mapilian. So, you just choose that one and then click save. So, it takes time. Okay, dugay man na iyang pag-process niya na hulati lang yun siya until nga, if it is done, uh, makita man sa gyapon sa iyang obos if it is done. So, example here, uh, for the demo, no? So, I'll click here, file, and then I'm look for the save as nga tool. Save as. Okay, na kay mo gawas din ani. Sa ko din may mong makita din ani na kay browse. You need to browse kung asa to nimo i-save. Right? So, the, this is now the file name. Example, this is the file name, uh, webinar final copy then save as type. As uh, by default, atong makita din na PowerPoint presentation. 
And the right side corner, na kay, excuse me, na kay arrow down there, you click that one, and then look for the any video format na nakasave sa imuhang PC. Sa kuha na ako ay uh, MP4. Basin inyo na mo MP3, or kaya ang uba na ay that MOV, uh, MOV pwede ragya po na siya. Once you choose this one, click save. Then once done, okay na dahil na. Just wait to save your work. So ang may tabo na dayon niya na is mao na dayon niya ang imong itsura. Okay? So the icon now is uh, wait na. Okay, the icon of that one now is kanina dayon siya oh. Kanang naka video format na. Kani diyan nga portion. Okay? So, pwede na dahil niya sa PowerPoint na to. Okay, now, our last activity. Uh, any questions? May mga pangutan na? Thank you very much, Mama Eileen. Yes, you can Paul. actually um, click reaction and um, I know you can uh, click the clap hands. No? To, uh, no? to also give Mama Eileen uh, our our felicitations. Thank you very much, Mama Eileen. Thank you, Pa. Very helpful, I'm sure. No, I'm amazed of the power of of uh, the PowerPoint. No, thank you, Mama Eileen. I'll introduce now our next speaker. Um, okay. So from the creating the PowerPoint with lecture narration, lecture subtitles, and video of the lecturer with engineer Eileen Sierra. Thank you very much, Mama Eileen. Okay, I think wala ko naka-video. Alright. So, thank you very much, uh, Engineer Sierra. It was very, very helpful. Um, for some of you who murag naka-follow pero mag-need pag-time, that's perfectly normal. No? Um, that includes me. Meaning that at, uh, at my own pace, at my own time, I'll be able to follow that. Okay. Ang presentation man sad o ang PowerPoint ni Ma'am Eileen as well as Young Guide will be sent to you and and it's very, very clear, man said, uh, step by step. Salamat po again, Ma'am Eileen. Later, Ma'am Eileen will also answer some of your um, questions, no? if there's any. Uh, we will move now to, if you're using a PowerPoint, it has to also engage our students, no? as well as it has to be an effective presentation as well. So, and I hope that that will also help uh, facilitate understanding of our content. And that's basically why we have invited uh, Dr. Maria Angeles in Osolango, no? um, to also uh, give us a bit of a reminder on how we're going to prepare our uh, PowerPoint presentation. So, Dr. let me introduce Dr. Inosolango. She graduated, uh, is a graduate of BS Ed, major in English, Maed Communication Arts, English, and PhD in Education at Xavier University. She was also a Fulbright FLTA scholar at Northern Illinois University. At present, she's serving our university as a faculty of the Department of Teaching Languages in CSTE and our Kagan Dioro Director of Student Affairs. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Dr. Maria Angeles D. Inosolango. Welcome, Dr. Inosolango, and uh, you may now share your screen. Um, I will unmute you now. All right. Thank you, MP, and good morning po to everyone, to our dearest colleagues who are really willing to go an extra mile in making our very own engaging presentation. And I will now proceed to my presentation po because we're running out of time. So I will, I will try my best. I will do my best to finish this in 20 minutes. So allow me to share my screen. All right, there you go. Share. Can you now see my screen? Can you now share, uh, see my screen po? We can. Thank you very so, much. So, this is now being tasked to me by our very good director of CITL, creating engaging and effective presentations and facilitating understanding of content. So, if creating our own slides, we have many designs, we have many layouts and all, but it's very important for us professors, for us faculty members, for us teachers, to make sure that our students are somehow make to make sure that our presentation is very much presentable to them and palatable to them, meaning if they're going to see a PowerPoint, 
they are somehow driven to read more rather than being distracted. Because again, the PowerPoint is just an aid. The main point is actually the one discussing, and that's you, that's me, that's all of us. So if you look at the following slides, probably you have sub observed some simple ones, some good colors, and some distracting ones. And this will be the slides that you will see later on along my discussion. If you observe vision and mission is very uh, important in the first day of class, uh, of, of our, our class, where we use our VMGO. Of course, the common one is our objectives. And of course, the images with our, uh, our PowerPoint slides. And this is somehow distracting. Uh, you have the image embedded, but at the same time, you have some text overlapping it. And then this one, the colors, much colors, and then eventually you could hardly read them. So these are some pitfalls that we are trying to avoid. And again, I know that all of us are already starting the PowerPoint. So if this is just a refresher and an enhancement of what Mom Eileen has presented to make our masterpiece, because this is like our masterpiece this time, it identifies who we are as professors and as teachers. So again, this, the, the purpose and the intention of making slides is basically this to give them ideas. This is just a visual aid. We are the ones explaining. So the main king and queen here is going to show you through the flexible learning data that we gathered in CDO as our benchmark, we can really see that, oops, students have limited bandwidth, students have limited MDPS. So that's why if you observe from the design given to us by CITL, we're not putting a lot of animations and transitions because it will add some, some, some bandwidth and, and MDPS. So again, the main point of why are, we, why are we making the slides it's because you just would like to enrich and enhance our presentation and it could be easily retrieved by our students. Even for us adults, if we, we have a material, we'll rather say that, okay, can you just take a photo of this? Can you just upload that in Messenger? So it's, it's easily to be retrieved because we are dealing with the millennials right now. So I know that, that the challenge for us is to those who are not into this, not into technological, those who are not savvy in technology, uh, this is a challenging one, but again, this is an opportunity for us to somehow enrich our skills as teachers. And PowerPoint and with Mom Eileen there, that's an added skill for us as teachers in the field. So looking at the, the internet connection of our students, looking at the CHED memo number 44, series of 2020, wherein also facilitated the, the gathering of data of what kind of students do we have in terms of internet connection. So if you see here, uh, in terms of mobile is from all the all the colleges. So many of the students are only on mobile. Data, 577 of them. The respondents out from the 7,000 uh, students, there were actually 1,096 responses uh, in this um, survey. So if you see, by Mom Eileen presented different kinds of recording narration because this is the challenge now. We can give them a plain PowerPoint. And my task is how to, give, uh, how to give a plain PowerPoint but still engaging. And then if they have good connectivity, like having internet, narration, they can have uh, video recording. So in a way, students can listen to you even though you are not physically around because this, you're virtually talking with them. If you look at here, there's a post Only a very few have subscription or are available of 599 Glow, 59, uh, 299 Smart. So it's, it's just, it's just, like the mobile data is the one being uh, used by the students to have access on the internet. In terms, in terms of personally owned mobile devices and gadgets, see, there are still around 100, more than 100 of them who are using an ordinary phone. So an ordinary phone could not access a, even a PowerPoint. That's why uh, we can just email uh, some, some guides. Some, that's why even the study guide, it's in, in Word. Uh, because, again, there are students who don't have the Android smartphone. No, it's also good to know that many of our students, uh, most of them, uh, be uh, surprised. So I do have you and, and hello because we are segregating male and female. So the um, female so and the female. I'll just keep this card. Uh, Mama G. Yes, yes, Paul. Uh, may, may you please try without the earphones, Sigoro? Okay. Ah, sige, sige, sige. They're coming in um, intermittent. Um, so I'm, I'm checking whether maybe it, there's something wrong with the earphone. Sige, sige po. I'll, I'll remove it now po. How about this one po? It, it's better? 
Uh, it's better. All right, all right. Uh, in terms of the uh, so so this is in support of what we have. So they have limited to zero internet connectivity. Students are stressed stress out of shortage of funds. Uh, in terms of food, boarding house, then mental health, miss the family, just staring at the walls of their room, and even hopefully they even hopefully they have a garden para na apoy mga green, but not all of the students are like that. Then some are very para para paranoid with COVID, and then. Many of our students are just tuning in to our presentation in just two to five minutes. So how can I make my presentation shorter, precise, and straight to the point? So uh, what happened in this session? So we have to quickly look at our slides that you have initially uh, made and then simply looking at our word count and then breezing through the content because, again, the campaign here is just to make the highlights, the gist, and the summary. In terms of some gentle reminders, I know we are actually starting doing this, but we'll just refresh. So in terms of layout, content is very much important because we are not there physically. So bullets, uh, bullet form, brief paragraphs, only highlights. There is beauty in space. If you look at this, not all the things are being put in just one slide. So one idea, one point, then three bullets will do. All right? Again, it's not about... The many, it's, it's tantum quantum, not many but much. So the most important thing is we have highlighted what we would like to imprint with our students per slide. In terms of layout, of course, color is very important as well. So as much as possible, we should have only two color combinations. You can also go with branding. Uh, and then I have here color palettes, which was taught to me by Sir Jerwin, that uh, you have to have great color combinations. So if you look at this, you have you can check color hunt in Google and then the colors of mother and second. So kuna siya ng mga shades. Muna siya ang mga combinations. So you can even play with it later on that uh, you can somehow see that the moment you combine the colors, you already have your trademarks. Chada ba ang blue and yellow? Of course, because that's our branding as CST paid. Bias kay ko. So blue and yellow are it's really good because uh, light background, dark font, or dark background, light font. So, what's up, my light in your coin? So, kung atineyo lugar, blue and white, uh, USTP, blue and yellow. May yung kag other SUCs, ganan pud sila sa purple and yellow. So, muna siya, depende pud no ang ato mga color brandings, but at the same time, but I hope that this palette will somehow, this will help to. It will guide you on how to make a very good uh, presentation in presentation terms of color combination. Let's look at the fonts in terms of fonts two to three styles to do pero for some kanang three styles is already suicidal so as much as possible one or two lang yun ang font design kaya uban nag cursive uban nag area like century gothic uh asa magit asa magit na sure okay so wala siya ang atong mabantayan then the the especially if if the slide is kanang uh if if you're looking at big audiences, large enough. Pero kini, tukod kay virtual ta, okay na kay ang kanang enough lang uh, size sa uh, ato ang font. Then the design, there is beauty and simplicity. Less is more. So if you look at the design, look at CITL, yellow and blue. In uh, anat uh, lang yun, ang iyahang design. Then the gun case space where I could somehow put my text and my images. So there is simplicity. There is beauty and simplicity. Mo nag nila sa mga fashion designers nga less is more. Okay? And this is an example because again, we in the next slides, in the succeeding, succeeding slides, you will see the, the different layouts and the colors and the fonts and the design. So if you look at this, mupasar ba siya sa content, color, font, and design na to? Yes, I believe so. We, I always believe, believe in branding. So, easy na kining branding. Kaya ang letterhead sa USTP, ako nag-copy sa ibabaw. <laughs> okay? But you can also make your own. We always remember that uh, branding is very important in somehow making our school uh, known. And that the moment you upload this in your own YouTube channel with all your own narration, oh, wow, USTP ni Bay. So, lahi na yun ang ato ang identity. So, we're also making branding in in, in our own context, not only here in Mindanao, but to the whole wide world at the same time. So if you observe, di ba, vision, mura din na siya. Ayun, nag-uban. Then ikaw na lang siya ka dahil nga magpotang na ni kag-narration. Then objectives, just just two bullets lang yun. Or kung daghan mo ka ng objectives, ay kabalaka, kaya dili ka kangurot ang slides. You can always add, you can always add, you can always add. Alright? 
in terms of color, so tanaw natin ni no, okay ang color combination ni Vision, niya, I love black and white lang yun para safety. If you look at black, see, if you put uh, colors, wala siya contract. Okay, so this this is my slide design in my art app class. Uh, the moment I discuss with my students, and then if you look at the five great productivity apps, you know, ko marag okay lang ni siguro ni sa mga gagmay nga bata kay oh it's me in color pero marag dili maningan na to mga bata no medyo professional na sila medyo mature na so color combination look at uh, looking at it professionally it's it's a very important to them. Another one, so in terms of content, so nagkadaghan ka yung introduction diri sa kining motor car, kining objectives, o di ba, nakaginhawata. So, muna itong ipangita ng slide. And I saw this in Google, the 166 rule in practice. So, have only one idea per slide, have at most six bullets, maximum six words per bullet point or kada linya. And then, uh, each bullet has six words. And then, is it a good presentation rule? For me, yes, it is. So, hopefully, makatabang ni siya ang 166 rule every time we make our slides. Then, in terms of engaging and facilitating understanding of content, so, ganina, no, it's more on the technical side, on the design, layout, color. But this time, kung wala, limited ang ato ang uh, PowerPoint na kanang features, kanang ita ka na rate. So, ang sama nga, Bisag ing ani siya ka plain engaging ya kun kay nga na feel nila nga oy you are there even though you're not talking you don't have the narration so this is now my task so third basic parts of the presentation which i normally practice i also learned this from my former uh, statistician and dissertation advisor to kapi kapi lang niya ni balik ba alex ako so these are the things that until now I, i'm practicing that you need to have title slide objectives outline content proper then the referencing references in the closing slide so the title slide is very important because this is well helps sustain the, the attention of our students. So, uy, makaginhawa, di na sila stress kay guwapo kay mga colors, guwapo yung color combination. So if you look at the first one, that's the first slide, matawang ipakita ganina. Then in the second one, I put here barriers to intercultural communication. Nga na I lock, nga na I lock nga image. It's because you have to unlock the barrier. So image pa lang nangungusak na. So it's very important that the moment you put images, it's suwak na suwak of what is the lesson all about. And then, siguro sa mga research, no, kanang mga research presentation, itag-ask kayong mga title, so, <laughs> makontrol. So, these are examples of title slides that we can make on. If, if you observe, makaginhawa, six slides, uh, six, uh, six uh, words, six uh, lines in each bullet, so this will pass. In terms of outline, well, aning first, kay highlight ni mo ang outline na dapat yung imong image. So, ba, mo po dapat ang bantayan no? nga, dili po kayo mga overs the image. Though, chada siya kay, you're talking about intercultural communication. How about Antarctica? Are there people existing there? So, napoy mo yung anak, pero dili mga mga highlight, highlight ang mga outline. Okay? So, ang kinakasave kung nga atong pat. It's like, what are doing in research once we present the outline of our presentation? First of all, so, nga ating mga images nga, nga nung nga nung kinahong gibu Mindanao. This is our appreciation. So, muna ang kini akong gibot ng image about Mindanao, the IPs uh, in our region. And then you have the people here, live in an ever-changing society. So, what do you mean by changing society? Even at this time, in pandemic, we have changed the platform in education. Virtual na ta. Sa una, gusto kita physical, kigay, na snacks, na lunch. So, sila may kaya na ba, hindi magkita-kita ta. Pero karun murag, agoy, murag mo, murag itag mo, adjust because we're, we're doing this virtually. So culture, so narakay mga lecture diha. Then I always believe that in doing some content, we just don't limit on text in the book, but we can also include book teas, some reflection points, because again, pandemic time, medyo stress ang atong mga bata. So as much as possible, me connect na ang ato ang lesson sa ato ang lugar ng what's going around in the society, what's what's the present status. So at the same time, dili kayo sila mag, ma, ma, mabugatan nga 3x times to y squared is equal to, pero on sa may relation din, Anna, so probably then we can reflect na these are problems in life that we can actually solve. This is just like solving this problem. You have to sustain it, you have to fight, you have to combat. We, dili ta pwede pa daw sa pandemic, dili ta pwede pa daw aning problem. So, in that way, we, we can engage our students to our lesson that this is not about just the brain, but we're talking about the skill, we're talking about the heart at the same time. 
just like steep analysis presented to us by Sir Rujin, where E stands for environment trend, global warming. So I start by asking, what are the pain points that we are experiencing with our environment? So then you allow them to have thinking time. So if you're, going the rec if you're doing the recording, so what are the pain points that we are experiencing with our environment? So what are your thoughts about this? So there's what we call thinking times. So your students can stimulate something inside their brain even though you're not there present, uh, physically present. Then you proceed with your lecture that uh, in global warming, it's actually the resulting climate change that has many severe consequences. Then education is a key point. So how do we sustain our energy? Do we turn off our lights if it's not needed? Uh, do, we, do, we, do we somehow include ourselves or actively participating in Earth Hour. So this is one way to make our presentation engaging. And also have some ways, like uh, you have the topic here on top, you have some reminders, you have some like wrap up after each slide. I learned this also from Doc Amphi, like in, in my presentation for my dissertation, this is the data, so what's the catch? So it's good that you have like your small, sla a small a shape here with, with your text, like, this reminder, so what? Let them write their questions. This is good, especially if you're handling open forum because you don't have the luxury of time. So another example is some helpful tips in uh, challenging participants or challenging students. So what are your experience with challenging participants? So then thinking time again. So you have the point, then the subtitle here is like your wrap up per slide or you make students think about the slide. What are the things that they do understand or things that they would like to reflect on? So this slide layout style could really help in somehow making them like the slide talk to them every slide. All right. So these are the different styles in making count uh, make, making content. In terms of graphs, if you look at this, then I'll so, medyo sakit ni sa mata sa mga bata. Sa graph, you know, sa anong subject, okay? Kaya di naman sila kagetch. Pero if you look at the second one, medyo klaro. So, this is our January, 22, range from 20 to 30. So, maklaro ni mo ang iyahang difference. Even the color combination, kapuntay mo, medyo light and dark. So, this is a very good way to make our students breathe in terms of um, presentation. Get the references because you know plagiarism. Okay, so references is very important. And then usually I end my, my presentation with the same slide with my title slide. I, I I don't usually put like thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Okay, then ako movie theater, but kung kuan major professional way. Normally, nan unsay unsay contention ani nga nung ing ani. Okay, para pag sugod ni mo, ah, mo din ng gusto ni teacher. Pag end, ah, mo din ang mo kayo pasabot. So it's more on like, you're closing it with the same idea in mind. Alright? So that's what we're doing. So first, now, sabutan lang sa mga layout, design, and all. Second one is, how can we make our presentation engaging? Bisag wala at na Now, sa narration o sa recording, unsa man dapat na tubuhatun? What should I do kay, ako gani, wapag kay YouTube channel, but probably this is our time. But again, this is not a requirement. Alright? This is not a requirement. So, in the narration or recording, we have to prepare the slides because that's very important. No, that's our storyline, that's our um, plot. Okay, then make a script or outline if you are not so comfortable. But to those who are really good already in their craft, you can do it spontaneously. Wala, wala yung problema, wala yung pressure. But as much as possible, per slide, gamay na kayang check ka. One slide through one arc and story, okay, din na na ma-download sa bata. So example, blah, 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 blah. Pwede kung pwede gani 10 to 20 seconds, kung pwede 10 seconds per slide, pack na pack, kay the same put us ato mga bandwidth di ha, kay ato mga sudyante, ordinary phone, cannot be, okay? So as much as possible, per slide, gamay lang yung recording. And then, uh, then find your best angle in the camera. So I was taught by Sir Jerwin, yeah, can I put a flashlight at the phone? Mariana, para mito na camera na ay spotlight, okay? Para para mas mas kano lugar ta brighter sa ating screen. So you can find a very good angle. Pwede siyong garden, pwede sa wall. Pwede put ka maghimog only mo nga kanang tarpaulin sa likod nga. This is my channel, Mariana, no? Para po uh, dili ma distract ang mga bata nga ay ang mga students nga. Oi, like me, I have a one year old baby. Sa kwarto ko nag-record, agoy, nagdagandagan, nagdagandagan. So, mga bata, ayun sa magitinood, ano nga, na, karoon na pang padidi. Bisod kayo may ngana, no? So, as much as possible, we should find a very good place. Sama, ano nga, wala kay distractions and all. 
Okay? So during the recording, speak like a professional. You can always practice prior to the narration. You can always pause. You can always delete. You can always redo it. So wala yung pressure. Ayun yung ganyan nga, daily kaya. No, kaya natin yung mga friends. Okay? So uh, professional, so, so tone matters at the same time. Like, kung magsurya ta, I, I understand nga, there are some of us nga, kung magsurya kay, very professional kayo na, okay, good morning. So today, we are going to present uh, in terms of uh, physics. So, physics in acceleration. So, naiyana nga mong storya. Okay na kayo na siya. Basta, medyo mo post lang git gamay kay matulog niya ang mga bata kay anuman ka ng monotonous ba? Okay, monotonous. Okay? So, pwede pa kayo nga. Nakakay times nga. So, what do you think about this? Hmm. Murakag, murakag ka ba itong saradyo bitaw? Oh, ani ana kung, kung sa drama pa ni, oh, abihin ko ng pultan, ani ana So, murag, <laughs> grabe ka, detalye ba? So, but, 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 but that's how it, it's done because, again, we're not with them physically. Then, talk as if the audience is live. So, nakarelate ako karon kay wala kayo kudagan audiences except sa Mr. Jerry ng among staff here. Pero, the story ko nga murag, hi, murag, murag nakita na ta, okay? So, talk like a live radio broadcaster. Then, give enough pacing, not so fast, not so slow. Because, again, you can always pause, all right? You can always pause. So, example, parang itong recording ni Ma'am Eileen ganina, kabantay mo di kay siya pas-pas, di lipod kay siya hinay, okay? Then, uh, all, don't worry because after the narration, you can always check and watch your recording. So, pwede nga, dili pa dahil dritsyo ni mo i-upload, ha? Ayaw sa dritsyo i-upload sa mga bata. Okay, i-check sa una kung okay ba. Because again, you can always record, you can always delete, you can always do it again. Okay, you can, ayaw ka, akabala ka, Anna. As someone at home to assess your work, pwede po na, yung mga tao sa balay, nga, oh, mag, ikaw masabda ni mga kong lesson about acceleration in physics, yung ani na nga pagka-discuss, okay? Then upload to the messenger or YouTube for your own ma first masterpiece, okay? So, first, oh, sorry, ha, nag -una, nasayup ni siya, kaya nag-una mo si Ma'am Aileen, pasaylo ako, <laughs> okay? So, in this, I'm actually done. So, first, we have more into the design, technicality, and layout, font, color. Second one is, how can I make my presentation engaging? And then, in terms of narration, how could I deliver it? So, nabay, nabay time limitation kung pila dapat ang ako ang kuan, slides? Not necessarily, but ang atong ginaw na diri kay ang klasis ato mga sudyante. So, kung kabantay mo, even in massive open online courses in Coursera, edX, and others, ang ilang video recording kay Lame Trag, ito 3 to 5 minutes. Kaya nakasabot sila nga, dili tanan sa tibo kalibutan, mic internet. Okay? But don't be afraid because you can make series. Like, example, physics as acceleration. Money siya. Part 1. Then another na yun, ikaduha. Ikatulo, sumurag, chunk, chunk, chunk lang gamay kay para madali ma-retrieve sa itong mga bata. So I hope that I'm able to walk you through with this very simple presentation on how to somehow engage our students in terms of PowerPoint presentation. And thank you so much. I'm very much willing to your suggestions and if you have queries and clarifications. Thank you po! Yay! Thank you, Mamanji! Thank you so much. I love the fact that you you um emphasize that when we though we're sending powerpoint they they can be very engaging by writing questions along the way and all that no and then i like that uh um in every slide or maybe after three slides parang ikaw bagid ang naghatag of what's the most important concept murag pwede yung tantanan but this one this should be the key concepts. That's also helping our, our students. And again, you perfectly emphasize that even if we're not around, the high instructor presence can still be felt by um, our narration. No? I mean, it's very important that you hear it. It's very helpful. With Ma'am Eileen, some technical um, help in terms of the PowerPoint as well as um, the reminders and how to engage by Dr. Inosolamo. This uh, helps us to consider the technology and never forget the pedagogy you know, at the same time. Thank you very much, Dr. Inosolamo. Pwede pong mag -pack -pack, no? Na ay reactions during na pak pak or, or ano? And also, Ma'am Eileen. So, so, we're now open for your clarifications. I will just, uh, I will just, um, ask it that that you can unmute yourselves i will allow you to unmute yourself if you have questions if you wish to type it it's fine you can do that 
Okay? Sige pa. We're waiting for your um, clarifications. Are there any? Or gutom na, manok ng pananaw kang amfi? <laughs> you can unmute yourself if you wish to talk. Wala na po ba? Um, I'm receiving chats. Um, okay. It was very informative. Sabi po ni Sir Bernard, Dr. Angie. Okay. Any clarifications? Sige po, we'll just take a break. We've been together since 9 o'clock, no? Um, siguro ako, na ako'y napansin sa katong kang Ma'am Aileen, if you notice the video, yung nag- Nag-embed si Ma'am Aileen of video. Um, if you notice, medyo naka-professional look siya, no? Siguro that's something that we should not forget, no? Na medyo nanudlay, na professional yung look na to, and ano, okay? Siyempre, Professor Pagbeata, so that's also very important. Um, but if you, Ma'am Aileen, no, if you have a video, it may not also include subtitles. Kaya powerful na magit kayo ang video, but Muta yung ni Ma'am Aileen kagina kung napay subtitle plus napay kay video, the better. Mura yung nag-takedown ng mga, may, mga estudyante na to. No? So, that 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 is uh, very helpful. Anything we do, namang kita mga kauba, no? Nag-career guild, tarong ang mga mga uh, resources for the students. And that's something that we love sa ato ang mga kauban dari sa USTP. If, uh, if, if, and if gusto if makatabang ang PowerPoint, makatabang ang video, maghimo gyud ang mga professors and that is so laudable of our co-faculty no mga career mga to mga ano. So, salamat kayo um there no. Uh, there was a comment kanina kay Sir, uh, Sir Charlemagne na gigam gagamit daw siya screencast. That's good no but I also responded na Sometimes uh, it's the PowerPoint that we download and PowerPoint mga dali kasi siya makit ma 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 ano sa mga mobile phone. I also use TipCam. It's a screen recorder, but lahi ragyud ang quality sa ang PowerPoint na kasulod dito no. Um, and then I also I also use screen recorder as well. So explore explore what what the ATL is doing is just providing you should you consider a powerpoint with narration a powerpoint with subtitle a powerpoint with a powerpoint with video um, up to you because you perfectly know what is really going to be helpful in with your with your course no as someone who is expert in your own field you perfectly know what is very very much needed for your students to be so that they will be able to learn so i guess muragwala naman siguro questions we thank once again um engineer sierras and dr rino solango grabe gid among pagpasalamat sa inyo ma'am because wala ra extra pay wala ra ba moy honorario ano ra ginisya no charm um pagtabang sa ato ang kauban paghatag og extra time dili sa yun mag 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 ano no mag prepare for a presentation um for our faculty but you you ano no you said yes to our request salamat maskig wala mi mahatag na honorarium kon dili um iampo mo namo <laughs> iampo mo namo and salamat kay sangatanan